Hey everybody, welcome back to Tin Plated. I'm Sean. I'm Rob. This is Dark Souls. We're back at the doors of Pharos. Uh, this is where we were before we decided to go uh, drop down the well. And so we're going to see if we missed anything here and what's going on. Well, we moved on from here to to that weird place with the camp. Right, the Bright Cave Seldora. Uh, yeah, whatever. Uh, but we ran past this to do it, so... Obvo. We gotta finish our work here. Clearly. Oh! Oh, just a little too short. The fact that those guys just have anvils tied to sticks amuses me. It is, a uh, A strange, but I suppose... If... Resource efficient way to build weapons. Rusted mastodon leggings. So those guys must be mastodons. Uh, I didn't really want their pants. The Black Power Ranger must be pissed. Is this way to the doors? No, that was where. Oh, we missed that last time. Apparently. Also, I don't like these statues anymore. Did you ever? Well, they were just kind of. Weird decorations. And then they were plague monsters. Oh, wasn't this they look kind of like uh, Russian nesting dolls. They do. They do. Hey. You drop anything? Nope. Why does nobody like Russian nesting dolls? Because they're full of themselves. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> So where were the, uh... Oh, to the right. You proud of yourself for that one? Mm-hmm. Okie dokie. You laugh an awful lot at your own jokes. My jokes are hilarious. Bitch, I dealt with the Capra demon. You ain't nothing. Think I'm scared of a big guy with a dog? Notice they all have a broken, um, tusk. Think that's just coincidence or like some sort of coming of age ritual scarring type thing? I was about to say, I wonder if it's like the old legend about the Amazons cutting off one of their breasts so that they could more easily wield a bow. Like maybe because that's their weapon side, they can't have their tusk. You know, getting caught on their spears. So like it just, just barely catches it or something? Yeah, so you just cut it just off. Standing there watching the whole time. He's probably betting on it. With who? You know, to make little mental bets with yourself? Like, yeah, I'd put money on the little guy. Ah, oh, shit, I would have won. Or, wow, glad nobody was here to take that bet. I guess they don't like the Mastodons that much because he didn't come in to help him. Very possible. Okay, so this one is going to open that door. I, uh, and the last one will open the bottom door, I'm guessing. Well, let's check. Yep. So where's the last one? And that guy is just itching to get out and get a piece ah, of your ass. Is. I think I'd open that one first if we'd known, because now you're right there in front of him. And it'll be fine. See? No worries, tall. Hey, w tied onto his trunk. Is that the tip of his tusk? Is it tied on or is it pierced through it? Well, at first I thought oh, his that tusks was are shorter than the last guy. Oh shit, they're both broken off. And farther back. Yeah. Huh. Interesting. I mean, I'll be damned if I can figure out the deep meaning behind it, but uh maybe it just means he's been an old he's an old elephant that's been in the game longer. Had more shit, but you know, bounced off his tusks. And it doesn't regrow when they respawn. Really? Was all, all that just to get a chest? That turns out to be a mimic? 
Better be a good chest. Santier's spear. Not worth it. Spear used to defeat Santier the willing side. Be difficult to utilize such a thing in the manner of a spear. Your only choice is to swing it around and smite foes about the head. Let's have a look at it. It's again. a hammer! Calling itself a spear. Equip it. Let's have a look. It, you honest to God, it's, it's got a statue's head where it's pierced one. Holy shit. Huh. So, that was, uh... Worthless. Number of Pharaoh's lockstones down the drain. Is there anywhere else to go from here? I think this is the... Maybe go back and... To the right there? Yeah. Yeah, there's more. I think that just led up, but... We'll see. Sure as shit hope so. Because otherwise, I am disappoint. Doggy! Or Plague Rat. I'm not sure. It's got Petrify. Is that what that is? I think that's... Well, yeah, the top one might be Petrify. Yeah. The bottom one's Bleed, though. Right. But, I mean, it's got, like, a picture of a rock. What else would it be? I don't know. Havelfication? If we were lucky. No, no, no. It didn't turn you into Havel. Havel just shows up. Says, hey, fuckers, you miss me? I've had nightmares like that. That's not funny. Sure hope we got enough Pharaoh's Lockstones. Be funny if it just ate it. All you hear is it go, yum. Well, uh, I don't see anything back there, so it may as well have fucking ate it. So, Pharaohs. I know that, you know, his whole deal was to help people, so he built these little treasure troves all over the world. Who was that helping? The poor guy he imprisoned forever to rot in a cell? Or us, who get to be attacked by same prisoner? Well, it-, it Pharaohs is a sick motherfucker. Dropped its armor. Maybe it's, uh, maybe it's Shit good armor. Shit armor! Might be good armor. It's not good armor. It's got... It's shit armor. It's armor. It's got protection against, uh, whatever those two things are. Curse and petrify. Uh, are we missing something else? Clearly. Cause now, what is that sitting up on that ledge? There's a dude up there. One of those germs. Oh, here's another one. It's just going to attack us, and you fucking know it. Yeah, uh huh. And it dropped the germ helm. Well, this is how you get a full set of germ equipment, apparently. Because that's just what I wanted. I don't... How the fuck do we get up there? We need to get up there. We need to show something for all the lock stones we've been shelling out. Is that a ladder? That thing? Could be a freaky looking ladder. Yeah, that's a freaky looking ladder. Oh. Pharos, you weren't well liked when you were alive, were you? Twisted barricade, spell. Soul of Man, I'm a night. genius. Is that what you call it? That is a that shield is just a piece of rock. Looks rather similar to that, yes. I think maybe Havel was like the tallest of these people. So they kicked him out. Germ warrior armor. So we have the Germ armor and the Germ warrior armor. Guess what? It's shit too. It's less shit. It's actually better than what we've got on striking damage. A little bit. And I think we've, uh... Yeah, we've upgraded the mail twice, so... Hmm. 
Eh. Oh, there you go. Well, there's another one. Here, and then visions of below. Okay. So that opens that wall that didn't open below. I'm calling it. Makes sense to me. Bonk. Yeah, right on Damn. that- Damn! Nine. Oh. Nine. And you picked up his shield. Yep. But then- I mean, you hit him right on his bell-shaped helmet. I'll bet that- Whoa! Oh, 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 oh! I'll bet that shit rang forever. Now there's more of them. Okay, we need to take an accounting of how many fucking lock stones we have left. And how many we've used. Yeah. Trap! Woo! Night, night, chunk. Petrified dragon bone. I bet we've got one or two left. We have none. We're out. Ah, <sighs> so if we get three more, we'll need to come back here. So we have precisely dick. Item ahead. Oh, might have missed that. A Pharos Lockstone. Do we go back and open one of those? Go back and open that one, or move on? Move on. But if we were to go back and open one, open the one Look, that's singular. More. Oh, Holy God! Fuck. You would have to go this whole game without ever using a lockstone. Not here. Or off a safe zone. Oh, he doesn't know you're there. Ring his bell. Oh, it's a statue. No, it's not. It's a petrified guy. Bro, it's a statue. It's a petrified guy. We have a fragrant branch of yore. It's not a petrified guy. It's just a statue. Why would there be a statue? Because this is their fucking Great Hall of Awesome or something. That's a big axe. He's gonna throw it. I care not about his throwing of the axe. Yeah, if these come to life, it'll be a lockstone that does it. And I think they're more automaton than people, so. God, look at all these fucking lockstone places. Visions of regret, so don't use that one. This is bullshit. You seriously- you'd have, to, you'd have to either do it by trial and error, or look up which ones are good to use. Or you'd have to save every lockstone in this entire game. Look at this shit. Oh, fog gate. Yeah, I saw it. Now that one has writing in front of it, so I think we need to go see what it says. Yeah, yeah, come on. Swing again. Oh, look. You got hit in the face. Then he got that shield up, though. He learned. You got knocked the fuck <laughs> out! You have been weighed. Stone. You have been measured. And you have been found wanting. Ah, the writing disappeared. Probably saying, don't do this. Oh, I, this one goes in. Bonfire. Bonfire! Okay, there's one fog gate. I wasn't done in that room, though, so I'm going to go back. What's it say? Weakness. Lesser foe and then rear. Pointless. All right, well, hang on. We'll come back. We'll come back. Since I need to sit at the bonfire for a moment. There's Cannot no way to get over there. Jump. You have to go through that other fog gate. Alright, well. If that's the way to go, then... Oh, it's a three-piece door. Yep. One, two, three. Yep. Don't you dare. Don't open the door. Oh, no, 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 no. I wanted to read this. Not here. There are some genuinely good people in the world. Ooh, more writing. Good. Unless, of course, they're taking... Hey, hey, that writing's back. Unless, of course, they're taking advantage of people thinking that... No! Don't you dare. All right. Well, then, I won't be using any of these. Uh... No, that wasn't it. It was... 
this tunnel here? Yeah. You know what? I'm going to leave a little bonfire ahead thing. Okay. Uh, message. Uh, bonfire head. Done. No. I'm, I'm done. There you go. What if you'd stepped off the edge to ride it? There we go. That'd have been funny as fuck. Okay, through that fog gate then. Yep. Uh, you want to take a quick trip back to Majula? We might have one level. Nah, not worth it. You sure? It's a uh, lot of souls to lose. Ah, we'll be fine. Okay. I Called have ordeals end. I have faith in you. Uh, must be blind faith, cause. Not a boss. Oh, I wouldn't say that. This is a very open room. And, and that's a, a fog permanent fog gate. gate. You leave. Yeah, this is a boss. <sighs> Three boss battles this look, week. Look. Who sits the Iron Throne? Up there on the. There on the roof or upper ledge thing. Yep. I see plague dogs. Yep. Those must be his hunting hounds. Hurrah for victory, by the way. Hurrah for joy. Maybe I can pull one of them before the boss fight? Yeah. Nope. Pulling them starts the boss fight. Not a real boss. Oh. Oh, really? Oh, they're rats. They're not dogs. They're rats. Um. That's a big fucking rat. Yeah. The royal rat. Authority. Respect my authority. By the way, we're totally going to lose that level worth of souls. Act like it's the first level worth of souls you've ever lost. Well, that's why I don't want to do it again. I believe in you. You'll get to those souls. Not if that rat's already there and pissed. Nope. But okay. Apparently he's willing to let me go. Use your bow and pull his rats from back here. All right. Unless activating them wakes him up. Well, we still might kill one. Uh, crossbow? I think you have more bolts than anything. And that's plus three. Fifteen. Alright. Yeah, ten bolts compared to... I actually have a shitload of arrows. True enough. Alright, well, since this is a plan, we're trying to see if it works. If it turns out to work, then, well... He's in. Yep. Attacking his little buddies gets him pissed. All right. God. God. That, that's a wolf. That is not a fucking rat. Jesus. It's like fighting. It's bigger than Sif. What the fuck? Jesus. It's even not built like a rat. Rats are fat. Look at the tongue hanging out of its mouth. That's a wolf. That's why it's the king rat. It's a canine. Okay. It's nimble as shit. It jumps everywhere. It's really big. Oh, crap. On the other hand, can totally get one of the rats. Yep. There's a book called King Rat. It's really good. It's about the uh, prisoners in a Vietnamese camp. Hmm. And it's just all about... Vietnam or Korea. It's just all about this guy who speaks the language and wheels and deals so that he lives a really comfortable life while everybody else lives in shit. And then the camp gets liberated. Mm -hmm. And it's, no, you're, you're not important anymore, and you tortured us for years. Polish them off before Big, big Rat. I am already toxic. So, God damn it! Hey, you fight a rat like that. Yeah, how? He is oppressive. He's just on you. Mm hmm. I bet fire probably works all right against him. That's what I'm wielding. <sighs> Uh, 
Okay, well, we know he's not going to be bringing a lot of magic to the table. So what is your best physical shield? I'm using it. Not... Okay. Yeah, that's it. If that's your best physical. I didn't know if maybe one of the great shields we picked up would... No. Because a great See? shield and a little bit 100. of... Okay. I mean, a great shield might increase poise, but... A more poise, more better. There's the Gurm great shield. Puts me over on weight. They'll all put me over on weight. Are those two Garam Great Shields? Hmm? Yeah, two we Garam got two Great of them. Shields? Hmm. Yeah, we would need far more carry weight for that. Yeah. Or we'd have to dump a lot of stuff. Yeah. And we don't meet the strength requirement. Ah, uh, well, there's So, no. yeah, that's. This is the best we can do. Hmm. All right, so over here on the left. Get those souls, then run back to the fog gate before you pull one of those rats. Try and buy yourself as much time as possible. Um, How far back can I go? Pretty much to the back wall. Cut loose. It's not hitting. Move, move, get out of there. There you go, good. Yeah, that last little one can be killed in the fullness of time. Like, pretty much now. There you go. Oh. Oh, it exhausted me. Okay. Oh, didn't get my shield up. I'm trying to figure out when I have chance to heal. Because my shield can handle those blows, but... That's it. God damn it. I'd like to know when you're... When's your chance to attack? I winged it. Yeah, 242. You know what it looks like? The particularly retarded hyena from The Lion King. Uh, Ed, I think. Ed, yep, that's right. God damn. Really happy with this shield, though. Now that I think about it, Ed seems like a name given to stupid characters frequently. It's a very simple name. One syllable name. So Sean. Yeah. But Ed just has kind of a gutturalness to it. Ah. You know? Right, okay. Something that you don't even get with Bob. Oh my god. Or Ben. I, yeah. I can't move the lock on from yeah. anything but his head, but all I can fucking reach are his feet! Remember how the giant lets you lock on to other parts? And we're like, oh, that's gonna be a cool feature. You notice it hasn't been on a single other fucking boss! I didn't know you tried it with any other boss. I've tried it with all of them. Huh. Because, see, if I could lock on to face his legs, I could be hitting him every time I get under him. He's... Is he tiring? He seems to be slowing. Uh, I am not noticing that. God, am I happy about this shield. Is good shield. I'm just gonna stay under his balls. Ratman don't got nards. Which is interesting because you might not know this. As a rat walks along the ground, it drags its testicles. Well, this rat does not walk along the fucking ground like a rat. No. He it... walks like a goddamn fucking cat with scoliosis. That he's very canine esque. And so thin, you'd think he'd be bigger. Well, imagine how much it must take a day in caloric intake 
for something that fucking size. Most rodents eat about their body weight, or somewhere between 60 and 100% a day. So, so he, he would be fucking famished, because there ain't no way he's finding that much food. Mm. No, but then the argument is how... Ooh, I caught him in the head! Nice. The argument would be how did he get that big? Magic. He's undead, so he can't starve to death. He just withers. Unfed, then. Uh, there is no bunk bed large enough for him. True enough. Although he might actually be 10, so... Oh! Gonna die. That is no, a shame. No, no, not dead. Heal! Heal, you Damn son it! of a bitch! Damn it! Damn it! Motherfucker! Well, on that note, and I love the last shot there where he's just breathing in our face. Well, we're going to call an exterminator. Um, hope you all enjoyed this. Happy Friday. TGIF. <sighs> we'll see you guys next time. Bye.